As for my last video, I'm currently in London trying my best to find a job at the moment because the job economy is pretty slow. I've been spending a lot of time on different websites trying to look for job openings, advertised positions that I can apply to. Therefore, I've just been writing tons of cover letters and making changes to my portfolio as to how I can increase my chances of getting a job. It has been a very tough period of time as you will see later on in the video and also in my previous job hunting video, Feeling Lost in Life. This is just how I've been feeling and I wanted to share the process of how it's been looking for a job and hopefully this will be informative to you. Good morning everyone. So I actually packed all my drawings today because guess who got an interview today? This person. So um, I'm just gonna go and be chill and see how it goes. So wish me luck. Drawings ready. Let's go. So I'm back from the interview and I think it went quite well. Um, although I'm not gonna jinx it because that's what happened last time. I thought it went quite well as well. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way back home and I think I, I quite like the vibe and I hope it goes well. I really enjoyed uh, my conversation um, with the person so I hope it goes well and I also really like my hand drawings and animations so I'm quite grateful. Um, I hope it goes well so we'll see. Although in the meantime I'm going to be applying for more jobs though so yeah, keeping my options open. because I just got rejected from the interview this morning and it's like so hard because I don't know I just feel like I'm trying so hard every single day like I applied to like 10 companies like a day and then it's just, like I don't hear back from anyone like everyone's just ghosting me or like rejecting me and I don't know what's wrong with me like I know nothing is wrong but like it's just so hard to believe it when like no one ever gets back to you and I feel like I'm just like trying everything and like obviously I know this is like out of my control but it's just so hard you know like when everyone just rejects you I'm just gonna I'm fine I'm fine I'm gonna calm down and be fine all right guys so i'm on my way out it's the next day and i feel a bit better um did some meditation and breathing exercises last night so i feel a bit better um even though like you know it's not my fault but it's just it was just very hard to accept that um i cut myself but yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna do any job related search this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy, go hang out with some friends, and just chill. <laughs> Um, I had a really good time here. I stayed for a couple of hours. It's a bank holiday because it's the Queen's funeral today. Um, actually, just cried for a bit. Um, just general life crying about jobs and distorted self talk and all those things. Um, but I'm trying to get better. I called my mom, talked to my friends. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but not fully. But I'm getting there. I'm trying to be kind to myself for this week just to enjoy the time and not feel like I'm wasting my time. So that's been what's up. But I'm really grateful that I live near Regent's Park and Primrose Hill that I can enjoy all this lovely scenery. Um, and the weather's very nice today, so that's what I've been up to. Thank you so much. 
online interview with uh, this company that does video production slash animation which is also kind of something that I'm looking at um, but you know I'm not complete like I'm just open to different possibilities of jobs that I'm looking at um, and it went very well they asked about like my story and I kind of asked about how the business came to be and also kind of how the creative director had a different change in his career and pathway as well, so it was really nice. The only downside is this place is very, very far away from central London, so if I do get it, I will really have to reconsider where I'm gonna be at, and I would really prefer to be in central London, but let's see, they haven't given me any offers yet, so I'm not expecting anything, so we'll see how it goes. Today is a nice day. I'm hanging out with my friends, um, getting some brunch food. Um, my interview yesterday went well, so yeah, just taking some time off and chilling and not putting too much pressure on myself. about this place uh, just because it's so far away and also I don't think that I fit their requirements but I will go for the sake of experience so let's go pretty far it's on the Elizabeth line in Ilford and I had to take a 45 minute train on the Elizabeth line but it was really nice seeing the studio's small space and just get to know them a bit better I also cried in my interview as you can see here hey guys I'm going to the gym now the interview went well this afternoon um, yeah I just appreciated you know talking to them about how their structure got set up, getting to know each other, and kind of just the themes and things that they're passionate about and what they see architecture as. Um, yeah, and they were really focused on working for underrepresented ethnic minorities and things, so it was really interesting to talk about those things, and I'm glad that I went in to talk to them about it. I'm sorry, I'm not, I, I'm just really not feeling the best now, I think. Just emotionally wise, it was very tough. I cried a bit when I got home. Um, so now I'm going to the gym hoping to cheer myself up. So yeah. Screw all of us. <sighs> okay, guys, quick update. Yep, yesterday was a really terrible day. I basically just cried all day. An exaggeration, obviously, but I cried so much that I just didn't want to film. Um, I think it just kind of hit me. My tutor was really nice to me. He actually looked through my portfolio, gave me a few pointers on what to improve on, and it was so detailed, 
but which I'm so grateful for the but the first reaction I had was obviously like oh like this whole time my portfolio was just crap which obviously is not the case right it's just so hard um and the other thing that triggered me was like my last friend who didn't have a job finally got a job and while I'm so happy for him the other thought was obviously like oh it's just me left like something must be wrong with me so it was very tough um but yeah today I kind of worked on a few cat drawings so one of the things my tutor mentioned was the fact that a lot of my drawings were hand drawn and I think they wanted to see some CAD drawings and stuff. So what I did was I just put it in Illustrator and kind of drew over it. So this is what the drawing looks like, like with digital lines. And I just made a vector of drawing of this and I kind of imported it in my portfolio. So now my portfolio, instead of like mostly hand drawings here, there are like these line drawings and also I put um, some rhino renders from last year and some modeling stuff just to show that I have different skills like rendering here and I sent an email. And then I received this email saying that we enjoyed reviewing your impressive portfolio and I was like impressive really? Which is not the best mindset to have but I will show up. fourth interview so far. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous this morning. I was, you know, just scared, nervous. I was like, they're just gonna reject me. But I'm trying my best to just be normal, be myself, and just see how it goes. So let's Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. Hi guys, I just finished my interviews. It was really nice to talk to them. I mean, I think everyone who does interviews are like very nice. Um, so yeah, it's been a good chat. And they were really, like they praised my work a lot. They said I was a confident person and that they really, it's really unusual and creative and they see me it's really nice to see me like take things very far with my projects so i told them like i really appreciated them saying that and it was just a small company but like they their place was really spacious and nice so it was a good chat so we'll see it's okay if i don't get it it's nice if i get it but we'll see interview today um, it's getting a bit chilly so you see I'm like more wrapped up but here's my trusty portfolio and I have my computer in the back um, quite nervous but I can do this this is one of the bigger companies I'm interviewing at so I hope it goes well and yeah wish me luck And I think it went well. I think, I think, I hope. Um, Four, yeah. zero. Gonna head back. Guys, look at this toilet. This is the fanciest toilet in a company. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs> So I just finished my interview. I think it went well, hopefully. Um, they were very nice. Obviously, everyone's nice. But um, they said that they were impressive with the amount of work I did. And I was really well-spoken. So, yeah. And then they toured me around the office, uh, which is really nice. There's like three floors and a basement with model making stuff. So, yeah, it seems very nice. And let's see if, if this is happening.
Guys, no. why is it running? Oh my god, the f I'm so happy. Oh, oh my god. We were just talking about the job and then I got the email. Oh my god, sorry for swearing. I feel like I have even better than me getting a job. Oh my god. Hey, what's the new? Whoa. Oh, the thing you're doing. Oh my god. I got the job. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> when? When did you get it? Like just now. Like two minutes ago. No, like a few minutes ago. I called my mom. Because... I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi guys, I just like did a lot of, well I needed some time to process everything, I'm still in disbelief, like this is so crazy, like I'm so grateful for this opportunity, like everything just lines up, it's perfect and I'm so happy, so grateful that this is happening, um, and yeah, I just, I guess this is like the part of the journey where I'd be like, oh, all of this, all the things in the past is like worth it because like it all ended in like a good note and like things all worked out and stuff. But it was very difficult in the past and I really think throughout these like weeks, I really like grew a lot, especially in terms of like how you approach the interview, like what's really important in your application and how I just viewed the whole job process and, you know, especially the emotional ro roller coaster and everything. So it's just a nice journey, I suppose. So yeah. My brother was just saying, so this is the start of a new journey, a new journey where I'm no longer unemployed, so yeah. Okay, so I realized I never said where I was going to work at, and I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. I'll just say it anyways, and then if I can't, I'll just edit this out, but I'm going to be working at um, KPF, which is located in Covent Garden, and it's, I guess it's more of like a larger company, so I'm really excited to like start and be an intern, like a part one assistant, and just learn a lot about what the company does and everything, so we'll see. Also guys, this is the most satisfying part, but I can literally close all these tabs of like all these places I was like gonna send these like applications i can close all of them this is so satisfying and look at all these all these emails i'm gonna send anyways so happy it's all over now so